Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I apologize for this weird, funky angle, but it's the best I can do right now. Um, Hands-free policy and my little stand thing just doesn't work the way that I would like it to, so we're just gonna go with this angle. I apologize if it's not the best. Um, but the point of this video is more about what I'm talking about than what I look like. Um, so the angle is okay with me. So I am struggling. And why am I struggling? Because it is holiday season and And if you guys have, watched, have been watching my channel, you know that I've been reading the Bible and studying and trying to find the truth. And, you know, and I'm sorry if this video is a little all over the place. I don't mean for it to be, but at the same time, I just have a lot to say about this stuff. So I'm sorry if it sounds a little jumbled. But, you know, let's start with Thanksgiving. It's on Thursday. And I like the element of Thanksgiving where it's about being thankful for your family and friends, what you have, being grateful, and, you know, eating together as a family, the big meal. That's all really nice stuff. The whole idea of the pilgrims and the Native Americans, the early settlers, you know, the white Englishmen that came over and pretty much wiped out the Native Americans, you know, gave them blankets with measles and smallpox and gave them diseases they've never even come encounter, you know, excuse me, with and for this whole time until these settlers came. You know, a lot of the Englishmen that came over, like, made it seem as though they were friends or they were going to help the Native Americans, but, like, in reality, we just took, a, not we, but I mean... Who knows now, because I don't even know if I'm Native American anymore, so, you know, the Englishmen came over, took the land, you know, killed so many Native Americans, um, infected them with diseases they'd never seen before, and, you know, and if this wasn't true, then why is it that the government designated Indian reservations all over America and have a lot of fun set up, you know, you know, probably not even enough to make up for what happened, but still, they have these funds, these reservations, things like that, to try to make up for what's happened. Um, so I feel like there's your proof right there that it even did happen. So why are we celebrating that? Like, you know, because we were always taught in school that they came together and they had this big meal and they were like pretty much like getting along, you know, like everybody's coming together. And, you know, that, you know, supposedly the Englishmen had passed on some things to the natives and the natives had showed the Englishmen their ways with the land. And we were supposed to be, like, celebrating that they all came together and had a big meal together. And it's just, like, I just feel like that's not how it went down and I feel like we know that. So, to celebrate Thanksgiving... I feel like I'm having to just dissociate from what the American tradition actually is and and I just don't, I kind of feel like I'm making an excuse to participate in an American holiday that I know really the history of it is not right. But like I like I said, I already told you the parts that I do like, you know, coming together as a family, your friends, eating a big meal together, and being grateful for things. And it's probably not as commercialized as the other ones because people don't really buy like Thanksgiving presents and stuff like that. But still, it's like the history is messed up behind the whole interaction with the Native Americans and the pilgrims. So why are we celebrating that? And, like, my whole life, I just kind of, like, heard that it was, like, the Jehovah's Witnesses that didn't celebrate, um, holidays and that they were just kind of, like, doing their own thing. And when it, when, the stuff I've learned is, like, I don't feel like we weren't, we're not supposed to be celebrating them either. So. Welcome to the 
Can I get a large iced coffee with seven of the caramel swirl and regular cream? Seven caramel regular cream? Anything yeah. else? No, thank you. So then you get to Christmas, which, you know, I'm finding out things like the fact that Christmas was not like Christ's birthday, that he was probably born in the springtime. And they talk about how they were taking that trek um, to Jerusalem. And you know why? And that was a very long trek. People, it was a very strenuous trek. So why would they take that in the wintertime? And I guess there's other passages in the Bible that suggest that Jesus was born in the springtime as well. So... You know, why do we keep saying that it's his birthday? Um, there's even questions of whether or not he was born in a manger. Um, just a lot of stuff behind that. And then, you know, where would that Santa Claus fall into any of that? And, you know, am I wrong for telling my kids there's a Santa Claus if I believe in God? Isn't that ideology? So, I'm just struggling with trying to... And I feel like, you know, there's no, there's no competition when it comes to doing right by God or doing right by American tradition. There's no question. But at the same time, it's like, I just, because then with Christmas, it's like, I can still celebrate Christmas and say that it's not about Jesus's birthday and the tree is not ideology because I'm not worshiping it and, you know, make a choice to not sing oh christmas tree oh christmas tree and i just feel like i'm getting really nitpicky and then i'm like well then what's what am i even doing the holiday for and then i ask and then, then i like really asked myself that like why am i still participating in this holiday then and i truly remember like the magical beautiful feeling that it gave me when i was a kid and i want my kids to have that i want them to experience that and that's where I'm struggling too because it's like you know why don't we find just as much joy in, in learning about God why is it so magical you know Christmas time and Santa Claus things like that I don't want to take that away from my kids but I want to do the right thing I don't want to follow a tradition just because it makes me feel better or whatever so that's where I'm at right now. It's like, so what if I just put a tree up for decoration? Is it really that big of a deal? I'm not worshipping the tree. I don't think the tree is anything even close to God. I don't know where I put my debit card. I never do. I always just put it somewhere thinking it's a good spot and then I <laughs> never remember where it is, but... I mean, I do have cash on me, but whatever. But, um, yeah, so that's where I'm at. And I just, can I just celebrate Christmas and just know in my own mind that, like, you know, I'm not worshiping the tree or Santa Claus. 304. Thank you, have a good day. I got my super swirled out coffee. So yeah, that's that's where I'm at, guys. And I just wanted to share that with you. And I'm sharing it today and now, November what, 26th, 2019. Thanksgiving is on Thursday. And I know that there's other people out here that are finding their way. They're reading about God and they're questioning the holidays too, but they don't want their kids to lose out on that magical feeling. So comment down below. Let me know if you're going through the same thing. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you next time.